right, boys and girls, it is go time. Today might not be a long day because my son has a little performance at his school around one o'clock. So we're gonna see how much I can make in that time. Right now I have a pickup on Rody, picking up from Walmart, going 11 miles for 29.05. And I put in for another Rody for a CVS pickup. Probably won't get that, but you know, five minutes away from the pickup, let's go. Okay, so we're here. We're just asking for the cold food pickup. I think it might be in some more TVs. And I put it for another Walmart roadie. I don't think I got it. So. Nope, didn't get it. And I get this didn't get the CBS pickup either. Okay, so this is going to an apartment building. Hopefully they're on the first floor. We got 26 minutes to get to the drop. Let's go. All right, guys, we're here. Hopefully they're there because I do not want to leave this TV outside, especially in this neighborhood. I'm a new one and this looks like a piece of crap. Okay. Ooh, this TV got some weight to it. So we have trouble. They are not home. And I can't call them either because the only number up here is the one for Rody. So I think I'm gonna have to leave this in the back of the house. <sighs> Hopefully they don't get stolen. Boy, this place looks like an absolute crap hole. Let's put it up right here. I don't understand how you order a TV and you're not home to get it. Okay. Mission, back door. That's it. So guys, like I said, today is not going to be a long day, but I did want to give you my honest opinion about Dolly. So Dolly is an app where I guess people go on the app to hire people for like moving jobs, really moving jobs and also deliveries like for example um what's the name of the store the container store they do deliveries either like small merchandise or custom closets and dolly is an app where you have to get accepted for the job i'm not sure if it's a first come first serve but sometimes i think that i'm the first one to get the the dolly and i don't get it so I think it's close to the way Rody picks their job. So I've been doing the app for, I think about eight months. I don't know for sure because I can't go into the Dolly app to, to see my history. It only goes back 90 days, which is stupid, but yeah, I've, in the beginning, I've gotten some really good orders. Like I had a, a $200 moving job in Manhattan. That was like so easy. And that person actually became a client of mine. Uh, haven't heard from her lately, but you know, I still get clients off the apps. I had uh, people requesting me to move stuff out of storage lockers and custom closets. And the pay is really good on Dolly. I've seen some three, $400 apartment moves on Dolly, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get them because I have a small cargo van and I'd rather do something like that in one trip but there is a lot of opportunity on Dolly, especially if you live in a big city like New York City, because majority of the jobs that I see on Dolly are in New York, especially Brooklyn. But I don't like going to Brooklyn for under a certain amount of money because the tolls will 
take up pretty much the whole pay on most of the orders on Dolly. So when you sign up for Dolly, you can either sign up for one of two different positions. You can sign up as a helper or you can sign up as hands. The helper is the person who has the uh, qualified vehicle. The help, the hands is the person, you don't need a vehicle, but you are required to be able to lift 75 pounds. So something that Dolly does that I actually like is they allow you to go into the app, search up different people with letters, with the, I guess the first letter of the name, and you can pick and choose who you want to do Dollies with to make a team. They also allow you to pick and choose people who aren't on the Dolly app that you want to work with, like a close friend or relative or whoever. They have to sign up for Dolly, then you can just work with them, but you are responsible for paying them. And if you have a two-man Dolly but don't have a second person, Dolly will actually find one for you that's registered for the app. Usually, I set myself to one-man Dollies because, you know, I'll be responsible for only getting the job done and I get paid the entire amount of whatever Dolly's paying. A few videos ago, I think it was two videos before this, there was actually my first two-man Dolly and... I really don't like those because if you guys have seen that video, the guy who was supposed to be my helper, who was supposed to be my hands, didn't show up. So I didn't get paid. Or I'm going to, like that was a $132 job. I'm not getting paid that because I couldn't get the job done. So I don't know how much they're going to pay for the cancellation fee. But I really don't see myself doing a two-man dolly unless I find someone who's got the same availability that I have that I can work with. And I would like to find someone to work with because there are a lot more two-man dollies than there are one-man dollies. Now, the way Dolly pays is, I believe, only through PayPal. And usually, it takes about a week for you to see your money, which is why I'm not able to see how much I got paid for that canceled job. I'm really not a fan of that because if I'm doing like a gig app, I expect to get paid within, within two days, honestly. I don't really like waiting a week to get paid like on TaskRabbit. So if you guys live in like a big city and have someone that you trust to show up to a job that you can work with, I think Dolly has some potential to make some serious money on it because I've actually made some pretty good money on it with just working by myself. There are a lot more two-man gigs, but I don't trust... After that crap that happened to me a few days ago, I don't trust people to show up. It's unfortunate that it happened, but, you know, uh, maybe I'll try it again. Hope maybe I can see if, you know, one of my neighbors knows someone that can work with me on Dolly. But other than that, I think Dolly's a pretty solid app. So that's going to be it for today. It is, like, really, really dead out here. And, you know, I'd rather not sit around. I'd rather go home and maybe work on something else. So today I made, what, $29 and some change. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. See y'all next time.